As profits continue to drop, meal subscription service Blue Apron is laying off hundreds of employees at the company's Arlington Fulfillment Center. Yeah, the company says it notified more than 415 Arlington workers that production schedules will change April 1st. The move comes as dozens of these virtual kitchens continue to cook up ways to entice busy consumers to buy into the concept. Fox 4's Alex Boyer takes a closer look. For busy people on the go, every minute counts. That's why come dinner time, a growing number of consumers prefer to pull out their wallet instead of the frying pan. While I do love to cook, um, again, it's, it's very hard during the week to kind of get that done. And Jason Vircher is a medical professional who works long hours. He's a fan of meal delivery companies like Snap, known as virtual kitchens, who make his food for him. It's nice to be able to just go home, throw something in the microwave, um, wash it out and put it in the recycle bin and not have to think about it. And for the virtual kitchens, there is a convenience component to yeah. it. According to public data, roughly 27% of Americans have used a meal delivery program since its introduction in 2012. SMU Cox marketing professor Ed Fox says there's definitely a market for these companies. The key to long-term success is figuring out exactly what the consumer needs. There are a lot of uh, firms that start up and uh, have a footprint in the market and, and then they are, they're going quickly. In 2017, Austin-based MyFit Foods abruptly closed all of its stores after more than a decade in the market. And last Wednesday, meal kit delivery giant Blue Apron announced it was laying off hundreds of workers at its Arlington Fulfillment Center as profits continue to dwindle. Blue Apron provides the ingredients, but the consumer still has to cook. So you're spending the time cooking, but not the time shopping. And I'm not sure that that's a big slice of the market. Fox says Amazon Pantry could eventually take a large slice of the pie, able to offer consumers prepared meals at a cheaper price. So today we got a grass-fed beef taco bowl. Jason Vircher is open to new options as long as the meals are cooked and ready to eat. It's fairly affordable. Um, you get discounts when you subscribe to meal plans. Um, so, you know, for me, it's definitely an ongoing option. My favorite is the turkey chili. Alex Boyer, Fox 4 News. And in case you're wondering, the average price of a meal subscription program is anywhere from $9 to $12 a meal. Many companies give you a discount, though, depending on how many meals you order at once.